Hi, in this video we are going to learn about optional parameters in JavaScript functions. We'll see that how we can pass variable numbers of arguments in a JavaScript functions. My name is Dhananjay Kumar. A JavaScript does not do any type checking on parameter values. JavaScript does not do any checking on number of parameters passed. And due to these two features of JavaScript functions, you can pass less number of parameters, you can pass equal number of parameters, or you can pass more parameters while calling a JavaScript function. So let us now get into demo and see how we can work with variable numbers of parameters in JavaScript function. So let us go ahead and create a function and I'm creating a function let us say print values and that function takes three parameter ABC and inside that uh, let us say we want to print console.log C so what we are doing in this function that uh, we are passing three parameters it should be comma and then printing the third value now uh, we can call this function with exact number of parameters print values and we can call 8, 6 and 19. On running now we expect 19 should be printed. So here we see that we got 19 printed here. Good. Now as you know that we can pass less number of parameters, less number of arguments as well. So if I go ahead and pass only two parameters as you see here that I am passing only 8 and 6 that is two parameters where, whereas print values function expect three parameters we are printing the third value here so now when we go and run this app you see in the output if I can show you in the output we are getting undefined and why we are getting undefined because we did not pass any value for the third parameter so when you pass less number of arguments then all the arguments which you did not pass gets assigned as undefined now there is one very important feature of JavaScript function we need to take care here is that we pass two parameter 8 and 6 so by default this 8 gets assigned to this A this 6 gets assigned to this B whereas this C gets undefined because we are not passing that value in any scenario if you want to pass B and C and don't want to pass value of A then explicitly you need to pass undefined here so this undefined will get assigned to A whereas this 8 will get assigned to B and this 6 will get assigned to C. Now when on running you see that you are getting output 6 here. So what we learned when we pass less number of arguments that we can skip passing an argument but the assignment of values goes from the sequence of the parameters here. Now there could be a scenario that here we are passing less number of arguments. So you want to check and assign some value if that is not passed there. And you can do that using, uh, using if condition or using OR operator. So what we can say here, hey C equal to C OR and if value of C is undefined then assign it to its 99. And as you see that we are not passing any value here for the C then by default C will get assigned to 99 which we are doing in line number 3 and on running we should get output 99 which we are getting here. So this is the way you can pass less number of arguments to a JavaScript function.
Now let us see that if we pass more number of arguments, as you see print values takes three parameters and here I am passing 67, 99 or let us say 104. So what I have done, I am calling print values function with five numbers of arguments whereas print values function expect only three parameters. Now if I want to work with these extra parameters, I can work with them using arguments. So I can say var fourth value as arguments and 3. So this is this a is argument 0. So all a parameter which you pass in a function that gets passed as a array as a arguments and their value you can access via arguments array. So here what I am saying this arguments 0 will uh, represent A, arguments 1 represent B whereas argument 2 represents C and we wanted to work with fourth and fifth element so we can say arguments 3 and this will return this fourth parameter which we passed in the same way we can say where fifth value as arguments 4. Now if you go and print that we get fourth value and fifth value. So on running we expect output 99 and 104 which we are getting here. This is good. Now there will be a scenario where you don't want to pass extra arguments and you want to throw an exception in the function that when extra numbers of arguments being passed and you can do that here in the beginning of your function that if arguments length is greater than 3 then just throw an error throw new error and here we can say that invalid number of arguments else you want to work with the argument passed A. What exactly we are doing? Here we are checking that if more than three arguments are passed then throw an error and it should be actually this else work as usual. So here I will go and pass three arguments and on running I am getting some error here console dot log and here I am getting 8 as an output. If I pass more parameter we should expect an error which we are getting an error over here because we are throwing an, uh, we are throwing an um, error there. So in this way uh, and this should go error right so in this way you can uh, work with variable number of arguments in JavaScript function. I hope you find this video useful for any update, uh, follow me on Twitter. My Twitter handle is debug underscore mode. Thank you so much for watching it.